thank you very much for coming back to our channel today we are going to be looking at dna replication dna replication so what is dna replication how does it occur why does it occur where does it occur so those are some of the questions we ask on dna replication what is dna replication to replicate it means that it is doubling to double so like making a copy so that is the meaning of uh, replicate um uh, but the old and the new must be exactly the same to bring about the meaning of replication so what is dna replication is the process by which dna makes exact copy of itself so when you are writing a definition and you don't talk about dna making exact copy if the word exact is not there then it means that you want to be able to get a tick so it must have the meaning of uh, it must have the word exact so that's why you say that the old um dna molecule must be exactly the same as the new dna molecule then you're saying that when now the question is when when does it occur when does um when in the cell cycle it takes place when does it occur basically or it occurs during interphase yes you can say during interphase or before cell division because um interphase occurs before the cell divides therefore it is here you have generalized uh, if you say that cell division you have generalized then interphase you have you are just specific to when exactly uh, does it um, occur because we have different phases but the first phase is uh, interphase so dna replication uh occurs in interphase so where now the another question is about where where does it take place or where does it occur then you are saying that it occurs in the nucleus so it means that um dna replication occurs in the nucleus when you are talking about dna replication in this case we're talking about dna replication in eukaryotic cells we're not talking about dna replication in uh, eukaryotic cells or in uh, prokaryotic cells because uh, these don't have nucleus then why does it occur why should we have dna replication sometimes you ask the significance of a dna replication what is the significance of dna replication that is the same as asking you why does it uh, occur or why does it take place it takes place to double you want to see the word double yes to double what is it doubling the chromosome number don't say to increase the chromosome number yes it's correct but when you are mentioning you want to see the word double to double the chromosome number or to double the genetic material so that now each cell can obtain a exact number of chromosomes so um why does it occur the answer we need is to double the chromosome number so if you had um 23 if you were haploid then uh when you double then you become diploid so that now the cell divides if it is case of meiosis divides then goes back to haploid so that you maintain that uh chromosome number from generation to generation yes so uh another one is results in the information of identical daughter cells during mitosis remember cells undergoing mitosis are diploid if they are diploid is supposed to double the, the genetic material is supposed to double when doubles the cell must divide once it divides then it means that each cell must have the same number of chromosomes so though it will be identical to the original cells so it means that if i have 23 uh, pairs in one cell then it doubles is going to become 46 um pairs so when it divides by mitosis it's going to go back to 23 so that is the meaning of um to uh, bring about to identical daughter cells during mitosis so in meiosis it is always haploid then when it duplicates then it becomes uh, diploid whereby it for it it is it is 
unreplicated. Yes, it is single stranded, sometimes it's called unreplicated, but after replication occurs, then it becomes uh double stranded chromosomes. So so it becomes uh double stranded chromosomes. We will see this when you go to meiosis. So in exam, when they ask you uh, why is the, what is the significance of DNA reproduction, we, they brought this question in 2020, uh, 2020 uh, November, December still. Uh, but um, in most cases, in most cases, students, when you ask such questions, uh, of they, they, they always find a challenge to answer this question. Then uh, how does it occur? In other words, the process of DNA replication. How does it occur? How does DNA replication occur or the process of DNA replication? So um, you have to first be with an imagination in the head so that you can describe the process of DNA replication. You need to first know this, the, 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 the imagination of the structure of DNA. Then you have to follow uh the diagrammatic representations and then you form the two new dna which are genetically identical so using that diagrammatic representation from there then you can write the points which are needed all right dna is we say that is a double helix yes it's a double helix it means that is two helical first helical and then the second helical so this has two strands so since we want to carry out dna replication this helical must straighten it must form two strands yes so uh, it must try to uh break when it, it it uncoils it forms this but i'll show you how do we write in exam so it forms two strands yes two strands after forming two strands now these bonds are supposed to break so you can say it unzip or you can say weak hydrogen bonds break so you can use any of the two because it mean they mean the same so that is unwinding it starts to form these two these two so now it means that you have two strands which are open Yes, it was like this. Then it because it was coiled like this, so it uncoils, so it forms these two strands. When these two strands, if you bring it here, yes, it opens. When the the the, the weak hydrogen bonds between these bases break, then uh, it exposes these two strands. Then, if these two strands when they uncoil like this, then the free nucleotides of DNA from the nucleoplasm will come and arrange. When they arrange, they are forming now another strand on it. This strand must be complementary to this strand. So I have the new strand and I have original strand. Yes, so it means that what is he on this DNA which is forming must be exactly to what is this DNA which is also formed must be exactly the same uh, to this previous DNA. So basically I have three kinds of DNA here, but one is splitting to form two. So this is the one which is original. So it means that it has this original strand. Still, this is the original. It has this original strand and then it has this new strand. So at the end, I'll have two new DNA. So I have two new DNA. So it's gonna form like this, whereby it has the original, uh, the new, the original strand here. It has the original strand here, and then it has the new strand. So uh, then it means that you form two new DNA. How do you write in exam when you're asked to describe the process of DNA replication? DNA double helix so you start by writing the dna double helix yes it unwinds the weak hydrogen bond when the unwinds it form two strands né? so now the weak hydrogen bond break so i said that you can say weak hydrogen bond break or you can say unzip so when you mention one of that you get a tick to form now two strands it forms two strands yes because i want to form two new dna then each strand will act as a template for formation of a new strand. So template is like a mirror. 
Yes, so the old strand is acting as the object and then the mirror form another one, which is the inverse you are seeing. So now this old strand will act as a, a template for formation of a new strand. Even this one act as a template formation of the new strand. You, what do they use to form the new strands? They use the free floating nucleotides of DNA from the nucleoplasm. So it forms two new DNA, which are genetically identical, each with one original strand and then one new strand. And then uh, this process is controlled by uh, enzyme. So that's basically what you are supposed to explain when you are in exam. So let's look at it uh, when we are writing uh, each different color means a marking point. So you should not uh, forget about it. DNA double helix, double helix, we give you a tick and wind. Yes, uh, weak halogen bonds, they break. Yes, weak halogen bond break, we give you a tick. Or DNA double helix and wind and then unzips. Then you also give a tick here and give a tick here. So any of that, uh, you will get a tick. From uh, to form two separate strands, you will need to see the word two, and these two strands must be separate. So you say to form two separate strands or to form two single strands. So you get a tick for that, and then you are saying that each acting as a template. What is each each strand you have mentioned here? is acting as a template if you don't say each you say two strands the two strands formed are acting as a template we want to see that word either each or the two strands we must see that if you don't mention that then you lose a mark for the template using what do they use using free free you want to see the word free floating nucleotides free floating nucleotides from the nucleoplasm so when they use free floating nucleotides nucleotides from the nucleoplasm, what happens, they form what called a complementary DNA strand is formed. As I showed you that it has the new strand. So the new strand becomes the complementary strand to the original one. So it forms the complementary strand whereby adenine uh, pairs with thymine and then guanine pairs with cytosine. The two new DNA molecules are formed whereby these two new DNA are genetically identical. So it forms two new DNA and each DNA is identical to the other. So basically the two new DNA are exactly the same. That's why I say that DNA replication, we want to, to see the word to form exact copy, exact. So that if they are genetically identical in terms of genes, then it means that it won't affect the physical appearance of an individual. So the person won't keep on changing and changing and changing. So it will remain the same, that's why it is not affecting the physical appearance. Then you're saying that with one original strand and one new strand. So the DNA, the two genetically identical DNA formed, uh, each is having one original strand and then each is having one new strand. As I explained before, this process is controlled by enzyme. So uh, basically, that's how you are supposed to write. Here, we give you a tick, 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 give you a tick, a tick, uh, a tick, a tick, a tick, and then uh, a tick. Uh, most sometimes we also give you a tick here, but sometimes we don't give depending on the marking guideline. So that is uh, basically the process of DNA replication. Uh, and that's how we are going to ask you, what about um, DNA profiling?